No, I think everyone's parents at one time or another wants their kids to take piano lessons, but rarely do people stick with it. Even more rare do people make their passion a profession. I'm curious, starting things off, about your piano origin story. It's pretty much that. My dad and my parents. <laughs> my dad played a lot of ragtime and boogie around the house when I grew up. And uh, one day my parents thought, well, he really loves piano. We got to put him into lessons, conservatory. I grew up in Germany. So they put me into lessons and I, you know, played some classical in those first few years. Learned a lot of um, blues and ragtime stuff from my dad at the same time. And then around when I was 13, um, my dad brought home a boogie woogie piano record, you know, like playing almost like early Jerry Lee Lewis kind of stuff um, of a German guy. And that did it for me. Then I was kind of like, okay, this is what I'm doing with my life. I mean, that in itself is interesting because, you know, you're a young guy. And I say that because we're approximately the same age and it makes me feel good, too. Uh, but it, this was all going back to your parents and, and their influence. But what do you think it was, uh, you know, in the music that kept it going for you and not just said, oh, that's that's mom and dad's music, but I'm going to find my own way? For me, it was was the rhythm. Like, like, I've never heard anyone play piano with that energy and rhythm. And before that, I, it was all, you know, uh, I was kind of like, okay, this is great. And, and I love doing that. But I still was, I went to school. And at that time, it was, you know, Guns N' Roses on, on the radio and, and Nirvana and like stuff like that. And, and I had that group with my school friends. And then I heard this boogie woogie stuff. Um, and I thought, okay, this is like, rock music on the piano and and it got me into um new orleans jazz it got me into contemporary jazz just by exploring it and um it was really that energy and that rhythm that just took a hold till now so what you're saying is we're not gonna get you covering november rain and tickling the ivories like axel and it's hard to hold a candle. i remember that video <laughs> for the yeah. wedding dress maybe <laughs> yeah well i mean honestly i i actually listened to that music as well and and i love acdc to this day um but piano acdc i don't know thunderstruck doesn't sound the same on the piano i i gotta agree with you there Keep coming, sure, sure, you won't catch me sure, sure. You know, when people do go see you live, what can they expect at a Michael K. Zammer show? Uh, well, for me, being in the moment and being with the audience is, uh, is the most important thing. You know, like the band and I, they're, they're, they're from all over the place. The drummers from Texas, the bass players from Germany, the sax players here from Vancouver. And we, uh, we're a good group. We, we love playing music, but the music's almost like a vehicle to get into the room for me with the audience. So I, I love being in front of an audience. I love talking to them, getting them involved. Um, and I'm always uh, saying, if even if you don't like jazz or that type of music, you're going to like the show because it's just um, a fun evening. Hey, 